Hey, you guys. Sorry, the first part cut off for Leo of March of 2022. I apologize about that. Okay, so we're just going to uh, dive right back into it. So, yeah, uh, this earth sign, I feel they, I think they helped participate in this in the past with you. I do. And now they want to come, they want to date you. Um, they're, I don't feel love here is what I'm trying to say. I don't feel love. I don't feel a little develop into love. I feel they just want to take advantage of you. Take advantage of you. Some, they are on a break. Some, a break up. They want to feel better about themselves. Okay, I heard some, they're on a break and some, a break up. So, they want to feel better about themselves. So, yeah. So, we're getting to the nitty gritty with this our sign now. So, some, they have just recently experienced a breakup. Now, whether they have broke up with the partner or they broke up, or the partner broke up with them or on, on a break on a break like friends energy if anybody's seen the tv show friends um on a break i don't believe on on a break energy i don't believe in it you either break up with the person or you don't period you either stay together or you break up i don't believe no on the break energy i just don't so some they're on a break on a break and some um so they want to use you they want to use you they want to feel better oh, sorry they want to feel better for, about themselves yeah and especially the on the break energy, that's some shitty stuff. It just really is. One of these earth signs, their relatives are very prominent in the community. They do not want this to happen. But this person is not going to be, you're not going to be interested in them anyways. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Okay. So I heard one of these, it's at least two earth signs. For some of you guys, I feel it's at least two earth signs want to ask you out on a date. So for some, you might get invited out by one. For some, two plus. Or maybe for some, they might back away and not do it at all. But one of these are, and they, but they're thinking about doing it. They're thinking about doing it. So um, one of these earth signs, I heard they have relatives that are very high and prominent in the community. And they basically, these relatives... Now, whoever these relatives are, it could be a mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, um, aunt, uncle, etc., etc., cousins, whatever. They don't want you to ask. Uh, they don't want this person to ask you out on a date because uh, maybe I think you're very direct. You're empress energy, man. You know, you know what's up. You know what's up. You take care of yourself. You you make things happen. Now. It doesn't make sense. You would think you're pulling in the Empress energy. You think you're, these relatives would want you to be with this person to like heighten their status and their um, heighten their status in society because you're pulling up as the Empress. They're pulling up as freaking the night. Um, but I guess it's because of all the horrible wrongdoings done to you in the past. I think their their relatives obviously know these horrible wrongdoings were done to you, so they don't want to be exposed. That's that's what I'm thinking here. So you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard someone's about to start investigating this soon. Um, so good. Good for you, Leo Femme Energy. Whoa. Maybe one of you guys is very emotional about a situation or somebody's very emotional about you, possibly. Because um, a lot of cards just fell out. Or maybe you're dealing with someone with addictions, possibly. That's why I like staying to my daggum self. With no dating and no friends. Spirit messages you have for the collective. For Son of Leo. A particular Leo is about to get a huge gift soon. By someone they would have never expected. They do not expect anything in return. Know this. There will be an explanation with the gift. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, that's a great one. So if this resonates with you, I heard someone's about to gift you something. You could be masculine or feminine, um, Leo, but somebody's about to gift you with something, uh, whoever you are. I heard they're not going to expect anything in return, and there will be an explanation with the gift. So um, you plug it in, however that resonates. That's really beautiful. Whoever that's for. You can have Leo in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Sun, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Yeah. 
holy crap, we got frying pan, trouble and accusations, and turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. Frying pan, trouble and accusations. Beware, someone's going to try to throw you under the bus in a workplace situation, but just protect yourself. Very two-faced people you work with. Okay, I heard beware, someone's going to try to throw you under the bus in a workplace situation, but I, um, but I heard just protect yourself. Um, protect yourself. Um, you work with basically a bunch of two-faced people. So... You know the card two faced friend it would be like the card two faced friend with this um if this resonates for you at least one of you guys you can be masculine or feminine i heard you work with a bunch of two faced people so they smile in your face but they talk shit behind your back um i heard they're basically trying it sounds like they're trying to get your career um or get you in trouble at work um that's exactly what it sounds like it sounds like they're trying to pull you under to make them look better it's about to seriously backfire on them in a huge way it's about to seriously backfire on them in a huge way. So, yeah. So, um, the trouble and accusations, I think somebody in your workplace, it could be one one person for some of you guys, for some two plus, but it sounds like they don't want to see you do well in your career. They don't, I think for some, they see you happy or becoming happy and they don't want that for you and they work with you and they don't want to see this. So, they're going to try to attempt to do something to you. I, well, I don't think to you. I think regarding your career. And I think it's regarding verbal manipulation with the trouble and accusations. But I heard basically just protect yourself. So protect your passwords, protect your work, protect the words coming out of your mouth when you speak to these people in workplace situations. Um, because somebody's trying to basically behind the scenes sabotage you in a workplace situation. But I heard it's going to backfire if you protect yourself so this in my uh in my opinion is um verbal manipulation um of person or people that basically don't want to see you do well in your workplace situation um i think they're going to try to maybe maybe they'll try to go to the manager boss ceo or supervisor and talk you into the ground um or they might do um they might say you did something or didn't do something when you did. However, that resonates. But I heard it's going to backfire, but you have to protect yourself. So just protect yourself. Protect your passwords. Protect your work. Protect, protect whatever you're doing, whatever skills, abilities, whatever you're doing in your workplace situation. Watch who you speak to. Watch what you say to them. Turkey, be someone is behaving stupidly. A particular Leo is about to be shocked. Someone is about to be wrong, not wrongfully terminated soon. Someone you work with connected in the workplace situation. Oh my God, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, a lot of workplace in here. So we have a Leo film that basically is, um, people want to date you um, in a nutshell. Uh, but they're narcissists and then we have workplace energy heavy. So if this resonates for you I heard basically it's someone you're connected to in a workplace situation now You could work with them heavily or you could just know who they are and maybe they're working a different department unit area Building etc. 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 But how this resonates you can be masculine or feminine I'm feeling but it's somebody you know in this workplace situation. I feel in your company I heard they're about to get fired soon. I heard not a wrongful termination. So it's not, it's not a wrongful termination. It is a rightful termination. And I heard basically, um, you're going to be shocked. So you are going to be shocked. So in this situation, someone behaving is behaving stupidly is the something, not a wrongful termination. Something, it's not gossip and slander and behind the scenes saboteur energy. This, um, it's actually something they have done or is about to do or or has been doing the whole freaking time or for a while that is basically about to um 
get them not wrongfully terminated. However, that resonates. But it's someone you're connected. I feel they're in your company or uh, I feel they're in your company. So they don't have to work like in your building or in your facility or in your area, in your uh, unit, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it's somebody you know. It's not you. It's somebody you know. And a particular Leo is about to find out about some, a family member in the hospital, some, a person of your past in the hospital. Severely ill. Okay, so you, wow, you plug in and how it resonates. And if this resonates with you, um, whoever you are, Leo, you're about to find out, um, or some, a family member, you're about to find out a family member's in the hospital for some of you guys, and for some, a person of your past in the hospital. Um, I think this is going to shock you too. And they have that someone is behaving stupidly, so I think they have done something to put themselves in the hospital, or they participated in some kind of, Activity or activities where they were behaving stupidly to put them in the hospital. Um, that's what I'm feeling. So you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Clash of the Titans. Unexpected money coming soon. Some to you, some to someone else. Okay, I heard Clash of the Titans and someone, uh, unexpected money, some coming to you, some to someone else. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Now, Clash of the Titans, is that a saying? I'll have to look this up. Is it a movie? I heard Clash of the Titans. It's a movie. It's a movie. Okay, so it might be a movie that you guys like, or, um, or um, maybe it's a metaphorical meaning. I'm reading the um, meaning of Clash of the, uh, not meaning, the uh, trailer description of Clash of the Titans. Perseus, the son of Zeus, is caught in a war between gods and is helpless to save his family from Hades, the god of the underworld. With nothing left to lose, Perseus leads a band of warriors on a dangerous quest to prevent Hades from overthrowing the king of gods and laying waste to earth. So that's basically what this movie is about. Ooh, I want to watch this. I've never seen it. Okay, so maybe one of you guys likes Clash of the Titans, or maybe you're going to watch it, or you're having some kind of battle with your family or with someone very evil because Hades is basically the king of the other world i.e. the devil like devil energy um so maybe some, one of you guys is having um some kind of war ongoing war with some kind of devil energy possibly um in your life that's what I'm feeling um or you just like the movie Clash of the Titans or you're gonna watch it I'm not sure um, so you, and that could be that someone is behaving stupidly too. The Hades energy, devil energy, um, possibly. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. A Leo is about to find out they're pregnant. And a Leo is about to find out someone else is pregnant. For some, it's a minor. Oh, oh, man. Okay, so one of you guys is about to find out you're pregnant. So Leo Finn with Finn Parts, um, I'm feeling. And a Leo is about to find out someone else is pregnant. So one of you guys is a Finn Leo or has Finn Parts. You're about to find out you're pregnant. Congrats, um, whoever that's for. Um, I know it's not me, for sure, for sure. And some one of you guys, a Leo, is about to find out someone else is pregnant. So I feel another sign is pregnant. Um, and for some of you guys, it's a minor. So they're under um, 18 years old, 17 or below. So you plug it in, how it resonates. All right, you guys. I hope this helped and love you guys. Namaste.
Uh, if you'd like to donate, it's Hi Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app. No Venmo. Love you guys. I'm going to say.